Right, and to Limpopo now, where over 94,000 learners are sitting to write their, uh, their national senior certificate exams, uh, the Provincial Department of Education says it's all systems go at all education, examination centres rather, across the province. The MEC for Education, Mabungu Lerule uh, Mak Ramakhanya, uh, visited uh, Tashila, a secondary school in Nirvana near Polokwane, to monitor the start of examination. But Eba uh, Maboa has more on that. It's the time of the year where anxiety and excitement becomes the order of the day. The class of 2023 is starting with their final examinations and therefore the MEC for Education is here to monitor the start of the final examinations. Limpopo has registered over 94,000 full-time candidates that are going to be sitting in for their final examinations. And to speak more on this, we welcome the MEC for Education. Thank you so much for speaking to us this morning. And uh, we are here because you're going to be monitoring what is happening as at the class of 2023 starts with the final examinations. And perhaps our first leg of the conversation should be, what is the state of readiness? And not only where we are, but also throughout the entire province. Um, good morning and uh, I'm so excited and very happy to be here this morning and uh, like you have uh, indicated we have just launched uh, the first day in our province we are ready I want to say we have made sure that our candidates have signed their pledge just to remind them what is expected and what is not expected for them when they enter the exam rooms so we believe that they are ready the candidates around the province we again also as a department made sure that uh, question papers all the processes that has to make sure that the question paper arrives the question papers the the scripts are collected is in order and with that i'm excited that today we are starting we are just here at taxila but we are saying to the whole of limpopo all our schools are ready mm. perhaps let's talk estimations what would be your estimate in this instance for the metric pass rate? Uh, you'll remember that last year the class of 2022 had to give us 76 percent and we went down back to 72 percent. Our plan and estimates have been that the class of 2023 should give us 80 percent and we are sticking to that. Where we are, you'll remember that this school gave us the top learner for the class of 2022 last year. And I'm excited because the learner, the, 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 the candidates themselves says to me, we are walking and not just walking slowly, but surely we'll conquer and give you 100% as a school. And this is one of our high enrolled schools in grade 12 this year. So we are sure that we are walking towards our own estimate. Perhaps moving forward, MEC, and uh, looking at the class of 2024, what is it perhaps that we can do to give them a good start into the academic year in terms of perhaps ensuring that their specialist teachers, even in law enrollment schools, and also m ensuring that uh, schools that are, have been merged are also catered for in terms of uh, specialist teachers? Uh, we have done two things which we are still finalizing. The planning for the opening of the 2024 has been that when we merge schools, let's take the learners where there's infrastructure, better infrastructure. You know the whole issue of saying the 80 against the 300, but you'll find that the 80 that we want to take to the 300 have got better infrastructure. That is how we want to turn the situation around. Then we can confirm that 2023 as a year of infrastructure has given us better days in 2024. The second issue is that with the district uh, directors and the circuit managers and the curriculum advisors, we have also gone to do skill audit in terms of the educators that we have. We are trying by all means, I'm monitoring at my level the ages one and also the specialists that we are taking in as educators. As much as we are vast as a province, but I'm monitoring that. So we want to say beyond just classes that they come together over a Saturday, let that be. A, if a school is specializing in math and science, let's have educators that have to deal with that. So that is actually saying to us, all our schools should go back 
to confirming the subjects that they are doing in a school. There's no way that you can just have a school that is doing mixed masala, every subject is there, then we'll not be able to come and achieve the specialist that we need. So as we are preparing, I'm going to take this time as they write exams to really plan for January 2024 and that will be some of the things that we'll confirm with you in January because we are planning for that. And perhaps lastly, let's look at issues around scholar, tr scholar transport. What is it that is going to be done to ensure that no learners miss school earlier as the year proceeds next year, no learner misses school due to lack of transportation and also ensuring that the transport that is offered to schools is actually roadworthy because we've had incidences in the past where parents were expressing discontent at the mode of transportation that was provided in schools. You know, when you talk about scholar transport, it pains me. I think maybe it's time that we start to talk to the business people, that we as a government give this opportunity as a business to say you are business people that belongs to the community. The children that you are carrying are also your grandchildren. So do good with us, because you'll remember that um, we have got a contract running so 2024 will not have the teething problems like when we did not have a contract running and uh, you are raising a critical issue which is part of our planning. The problem that we should be able to plan for better is for all the schools that we have meshed with also the areas where we have got uh, very minimal learners that needs to be carried but also high enrolled schools that will include other faraway villages that we may have to take in. Um, so we, that is how we are looking at it. But, you know, we were even grilled at Scopa about scholar transport. So that is making us to stand on our toes as a department to make sure that we do good for our learners in 2024. That was the MEC for Education and Limpopo. Now back to you in studio.